Well, now that it's all set and glued and ready to turn, it's been a couple days now, I wanted to demonstrate how my tool works in turning a piece like this. You can see I've left the corners on here. It was just too difficult to try and shave that off with the bandsaw, so I'm going to turn them off and make this square first. And then I'm going to go in here and show you how this tool handles a very bad interrupted cut like you see there with all the pieces that are raw edges hanging out. So let's do the outside first. I'm just going to make this round, knock these corners off. And I'm going to be turning this uh, fairly fast. I tend to turn fast. So let's get it going. Make sure it's going to spin well. Of course I already checked clearance on my tool rest before I started. I'm going to bring this up to about a thousand or so. And uh, bring the tool into it and see what happens. Now you can see that I'm going in very slowly just to pick the corners off first because if you just jam the tool in, you will almost guarantee it. Uh, almost all smoothed off. There's a little bit of flats here but mostly cleaned up and now this is more or less rounded off. Now let me uh, set you up a little better view for the inside and we're going to get this cleaned up. There, now you can see that uh, the center part here where I've left these ends rough and raw because I knew I'm going to taper this all in all the way from the outside. I'm going to bring this in. Uh, this hill though has to begin to be turned around and with a conventional tool that can be kind of troublesome. Let me get a different tool rest here. One that's able to tip in there a little better. And let's line this up. I'm going to set this up uh, about like so. So that I know I can come in here with the tool and cover what I want. Now you can see how this is going to be kind of catchy at first but since I've spin kind of fast I'm going to clean this mostly up and show you how quick this can go. While I'm doing this think how much fun this will do with a conventional tool. I'm going up around 1200 now. that uh, most of my rounding has already taken place. All the uh, loose ends are mostly gone and now it's just a matter of continuing to uh, round this off which I'll do later. I just wanted to show you how this tool is so easy to control to begin that roughing cut on an assembly like this. Uh, I'm going to complete this bowl now make a finished piece and uh, maybe I'll show that on my website later. Thanks for watching.
Uh, if you remember last time we left off, this looked considerably less like a bowl than it does now. It's still in the lathe, of course, and I've got the thing sanded to rough. I'm still going to continue to sand it a bit. And then I'm going to cut it off and turn the foot on it. But I just wanted to show you that it indeed did come out the way I had planned. And uh, let's uh, get a shot down the throat. You can see that nice turban wheel effect. Uh, and then if you look down here, you'll see everything that wasn't the bowl is down there. I'll talk to you later.